Hey everybody, it's your pal Funky McClunky. Today I'm back with another video featuring excellent paintwork on my figure designs. This time it's by my pal Steven from Keepers Customs. People order unpainted figures from me all the time and have the, me ship them to whoever's going to do the paintwork. Sometimes it's Greg from Ouroboros Customs that I featured last time. Uh, sometimes it's Rob Brown from Outer Rim Creations. And oftentimes it is Steven from Keepers Customs. Each time I send one of these boxes to Steven, uh, well, over the last couple of months anyway, I've added in a couple of fig uh, extra figures for him and a couple of extra figures for me, for him to paint and send back to me. And because this has been going on for a couple of months, I honestly didn't keep track of which figures I had sent him for, for me and, and how many there were. So this box shows up and it's big and I shot an unboxing video of it. And that video got to be really long because there were over a dozen figures in there. So I scrapped that video because I don't want to bore you to tears. And instead, I'm just going to take you through each of these figures one by one here in a second. Uh, but before I forget, remember, any of these painters that I feature on my channel, today specifically Keepers Customs, you can reach out to them and work out a deal with them to do their fantastic paintwork on my figures. And then you can order figures from me and just let me know, hey, uh, Steven's going to be painting my figures for me. Ship them to him. No problem. I'll throw them in a box, ship them to him. He paints them, ships them to you, and they're all beautiful. Okay? So, with that said, let's take a look at these figures. Okay, up first we have the Mon Calamari Officer, and as you can see, the tan color of the outfit is pretty spot on to what you'd, uh, what you'd expect. And I dig the detail that, uh, that Steven added to the sh to shell? Skin? Whatever that is. Uh, it just adds a little character to it that makes it stand out compared to the vintage uh, Kenner Admiral Akbar. Dig it. Ooh, R1G4. I loved designing this droid. It was really fun. Also a pain in the butt uh, to get the symmetry all right. But some people paint it green. Some people paint it black. I dig the green color scheme. Really cool. Really cool. Check it out. All right, Weos, Weoslea? Weos, I think that's how you say this character's name, who I believe is a girl, according to the way more information than you ever needed to know about background characters on screen for half a second that uh, that Disney, Lucasfilm, Hasbro, Kenner, whatever has given us. But yeah, anyway, love the, uh, love the color choices here, and the detail in the eyes is awesome. Ooh, Pote Snitkin, I believe. I really like the color choices here. Very Kenner-esque, simple color palette, smooth surface. Yeah, just looks really great. This is the first of the uh, many Jabba's goons that uh, Stephen painted up for me. Ah, Jaron, right, Jaron? Yeah, this is the uh, other Rancor Keeper guy. Great color choices here. I like that he added a little texture in the uh, in the accessory there. Some some uh, looks like kind of you know battle damage wear or something like that. Looks really cool. Vidane, Vidane, yeah, great blue. I really dig that blue. Great choice. Very Kinder like. Ooh, looks like my uh, little turntable thing's a little uneven there. Glad he didn't. That he didn't fall over. Anyway, great choices uh, in colors for this guy. Very smooth. Looks great. Uh, uh, why do I always forget this guy's name? Nice ad. N nice ad? Nice ad. Something like that. Ah, who cares? Anyway, a little brighter red for the skin than I would have done. Uh, but, I mean, it's fine. And just looking at it now, it's... It, seems to work. I need to go back and look actually and see, I don't know, in the movie, was he this bright red? Anyway, dig the outfit though. Looks great. Oh, uh, Vizam. Yeah, the barge, barge dude. Again, great, great choices. Very Kenner-like. Same blue, I believe, as, uh, the Vidane figure. 
and a uh, great choice with the kind of muted, muted yellow orange there. Oh, uneven uh, turntable again. One of these dudes is going to fall over. Ah, Gizem. Some people paint this guy whitish, uh, and some people seem to, to paint him a, a kind of a grayish like this. Uh, like Stephen chose. I like it. I like the, there's some uh, kind of weathering. There's some texture to the outfit. But uh, yeah, looks cool. Old Gizem. That's the last of the Jabba goons. Ah, I knew somebody would fall over. Okay, this is uh, shifting gears here a little bit. This is Boba Fett from uh, the comic book. His, his, his premiere in the comics. And he sported this kind of kooky color scheme here. Uh, if you're not familiar, there's a look at the at the comic book, but uh, yeah, this is this is super cool. And you know what's next? Because there's Boba. Yep, there's Dengar, also wearing his uh, his kind of funky, not at all screen accurate comics color scheme. Really cool. And you know, because we got Dengar, you know who's next? It's our pal and your favorite. It's Bosk. Purple, purple Bosk. Really great, uh, great set of three there from, uh, from that Marvel comic. I like the purple. It's got some cool uh, kind of texture weathering on, uh, on the white parts there. And the color of the scaly skin stuff is, is just spot on. Looks great. And here they are all together. A great set. Thanks, Steven. Great work, man. Until next time, everybody. Stay funky.